We are living in unprecedented times. We can no longer meet face to face. So we have to make do with the virtual world. But not all is lost because I actually believe that when we leverage the tools of the virtual world properly, we have even greater opportunity than we had before. We now have an opportunity to do things that we hadn't been able to do when we were only in live meeting mode. In fact, this is why when I work with my clients, we typically use a five step process to deliver virtual events. And I think that's the key thing is we have a process rather than just a single event. The five step process begins with the pre event work. And in many cases, this might be a video. Let's think about it. The last time you went to a live meeting where you watched someone give a presentation, most of that was rote or canned material that could have been delivered via a video. Why are we taking everyone's time to watch the video live when we could watch it at our own leisure and maybe rewatch it so that before we get to the live event, we are all on the same page? Which leads us to step two. Step two is the live event. Right now, these live events are virtual, but they could be face to face in the future. But when we have a live event, the goal is for us to spend most of our time focusing on the live interactive experience. It should be an interactive situation where people are asking questions, participating, and learning by doing rather than just hearing people talk. One of the things which I love to do at the end of the live experience is kick off some kind of activity that will continue for 30 to 60 days after the event. This could be giving teams a real world problem to solve. It could be saying, go back and apply this to your daily work and come back ready to report it. This leads us to step three of the process. Step three is where I create a custom website, a password protected website, where we store videos, downloads, templates, tools, and other materials to help people be most effective in the application of the work that we discussed. I even create a custom email address so that people who are in the session can write me personally and ask me questions. Now, in most cases, the way I answer the questions is with a video. I will create a weekly video where I answer the most common questions and post that on that password protected website. Step four is the debrief live session. Now that people have had a month or two to spend time digging into the content, we now bring them back together to debrief. We answer questions, we celebrate successes, and we reflect on what has been learned. It's a very powerful experience, which helps us cement the learning. But it doesn't end there. Step five is my 30-day innovation challenge. The 30-day innovation challenge is something which I developed a number of years ago to keep people engaged for a month after an event. Every day, for 30 days, people will get a question. They get points when they answer the question based on how quickly and how accurately they responded to that question. There's then a one minute video that describes why that was the right answer and why the other ones were wrong. And then they're brought to the leaderboard where they get to see how they did against everyone else in their cohort. It is a great way to learn. It only takes two minutes a day. And we have 95% of people who sign up to participate actually engaged each and every day for all 30 days. So it's a five step process that moves away from this event mentality to a mindset of deep learning and outcomes.